You know, I've watched people do this before, and uh, there's no uh, formula for this. I have, I'm going to retire uh, at the end of February after a marvelous 45 years at this incredible Amazing. television station and at your side. Um, you know, I'm going on 72, or I will be mm -hmm. in February. And uh, let me tell you something. We all get to the point where you have to make a decision, is it time to retire? Um, and it's the toughest decision I can tell you about. Oh, boy. Look Tom that. made that announcement last <laughs> night. He will be retiring in February after 45 years at WGN. He started in August of 1978. In addition to his weather forecast on this station, he hosted nearly 40 years of severe weather seminars at Fermilab, often welcoming in a who's who of severe weather experts from around the world. And Tom is joining us now <laughs> here this morning. Congratulations, yeah, Tom. Tom. You guys are amazing. You know, every time I come in here in the morning and do a little something, I figure I'm at the site of a broadcast phenomenon. What you guys do in the morning, I'll uh, tell you, Paul and Larry and Pat what's his and name? Lourdes. Yeah. Yeah. I know, you guys, <laughs> you guys are amazing. Uh, were you ever threatened by Paul's rise <laughs> yeah. and star yeah. over the years in the early days? You know, oh, yeah. not Paul. It's that guy right there <laughs> yeah. who threatened me. I, you know, he tried to fire me years yeah. ago. I heard. Yeah. You Let know, me... Sam Zell came in. He came in. He said, you know, you're no longer needed here. And, uh, you know, it's funny. He came in kind of sheepishly the night before that bit. And he says, say, he said, uh, would you work with me on a morning show bit I'm doing? And I said, Sure, Pat. I was flattered to be asked. Here it is, Tom. He oh. said, "There, are, oh gosh, that's that was that started the Tom Frickin Skilling thing. That's yeah. all. That's all, Pat. That comes." And let me just can I say to you, it yes. is one of the great joys in my career that I was able to take a scuffling <laughs> local weatherman like you, I know, and turn him into a star. It's one of the and things you that I will always cherish about my time yeah. here. You know, I can't walk across this town without being called Tom Frickin Skilling. <laughs> and I remember he comes in the next day with a script, and in it there's a line, "I could have you killed," and I said to him. You want me to say I could have you killed? And he said, "Yeah, curly strain." And so I said, "Okay." Yeah. And you really sold it, yeah, Tom. No you know? on that line, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you something. It, you know the wonderful thing about working with him. It, it, Pat gives you the best lines. Yeah. yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I, we did that roast that one time. Oh, that was the best. I think that was your crowning performance here. You know, and that I'm was a giver, my. Tom. That's what I do. That, <laughs> you are amazing. Um, and, you know, uh, that was. Me. You're the one retiring. Can we gush about you for a little bit? <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> what made you, can I ask you, what made you come? Because you were a guy. I, I was so glad. I was talking to somebody <laughs> close to you recently. Yeah. And they said how you have discovered the joy of laying by a pool and doing nothing. Yeah. Which is something I never thought I would hear about you. Right. And I'm so I'm so glad that you have. And I'm curious, when when did you come to that realization that doing nothing is pretty awesome? You know, it's interesting, Pat, you say that I've worked since I was a teenager. I've you know, my day where it starts at eight in the morning, I run through eleven o'clock at night. I don't know. Uh, what happened? Uh, yeah. You know, we've always had the discussion back in the office. We kid, I go up to Alaska in the winter, and most people go where it's warm. And uh, Bill Snyder, my producer, has always said, he'll say, it's 115 in Phoenix. He's excited. I said, that's 115 reasons not to go to mm -hmm. Phoenix. He said, well, it beats going up to Alaska and watching a glacier melt. Uh, but you know what? I don't know what happened. I, I yeah. told him he corrupted me and turned me into somebody who likes warm weather. I, you know, there's pressure in this business. Sure. Uh, you know, we, we get done, and when severe weather breaks, you want to be on the air and to get it on there fast. And at some point, you realize there really is some pressure, and you've got to get the forecast right. Yeah. Particularly in this day and age of social media, because if you bomb, you hear about it. Yeah. Um, but um, I don't know. I, it, it, it's the toughest decision I have ever made in my life. And yeah. you guys are yeah. all going to face it, yeah. all of you. Yeah. Um, and you never know what you think. You know, am I ready financially? Uh, what What's going to be like not having a day structured and having to be in a certain place? I, this is a whole new experience. I don't know how this is going to work, but at any rate, we're going to give it a whirl. And your love of weather doesn't end, no. right? I imagine you're going to be in somewhat involved in something. I right? hope so. You know, I've been very involved in uh, climate discussions with our legislators mm -hmm. and all. I was down with Governor Edgar's group at the University of Illinois. He does an annual Edgar's Fellows group where he brings legislators at all different levels of government, and they have a week of seminars on all different topics of concern to legislators. And his chief of staff 
Jeff called me and said, uh, hey, would you talk about climate change? And I thought, wow, uh, you know, normally it was Democratic uh, representatives who called. Uh, and I thought, finally, bipartisan discussion about, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there something you like climate change. But we went down there and we talked, and it, it's, it's so interesting, and I hope to continue doing that. I'm but sure um, I'll be asking you to do a Tom, lot of that. Tom, when yeah. you put your hat on your pillow last night yeah. after the, the announcement, were there things that you're thinking, uh, should have I done this? What were some of the favorite memories that played out in your head? How did oh, that gosh. La, 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 Well, I'll tell you, the complex. interactions with you. I remember when Paul came in. He had just graduated from DePaul University, mm -hmm. and he came in for a visit at the weather office. And lo and behold, the next thing I heard, you were hired here. Yeah. And I'm telling you. It, it, you talk about an unmitigated success oh, at what so. you do, Paul. Yeah. You're, you're something. Uh, so people back to you, though. Love you. Yeah. 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 you know what? I'll tell you, I just know it's right. I, yeah. I've been talking to Paul Rennie, our general manager, and to Dom Stasi, who have been marvelous. And I just said to them, look, guys, the time is here. Um, and uh, they accepted that and uh, said, we'll work. I told them I'll work with you any way I can. I love this station. I love everybody. There's not a person in this television station I don't consider a friend uh, as well as a colleague. Uh, and you know, this station, you guys know this better than anybody, because everywhere I go, I hear mm -hmm. about the morning show. You are adored uh, in this community. But the, the relationship between this television station and Chicago and the Chicago area is unique. Not many television no. stations right. uh, achieve this kind of connection with their viewers. No. And it's a tribute to this station. Yeah. I mean, you know, what, what's gone on historically. Yeah. Well, but I'll start with you, Tom. With the, thank you for coming in early. Thank you. It's thank a, you for having me, guys. I'll tell you, thank you. It's been a pleasure to work with you. I hope we continue to work. Yeah. At all. It's yeah. not all over till the end yeah. of February. We might have one more in us. Yeah. Yeah. It frightens me to think what you'll next do. To, okay, <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll tell you something. Anyway, thanks, guys. Congratulations, Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, guys.